Eventually, I mean, if if somebody works against oppression, against dhulm, against you know the problems, the social ills in society, those who stand to benefit from the status quo will eventually paint them as extremists, as some kind of fifth column, as some kind of uh, invading force, and using these narratives. That's exactly. Even though our narrative is what we're bringing, the suggestions, the changes, the improvements that we're suggesting, is good for you. It's good for business, it's good for society. Yeah. The more it's done, yeah, the right. better. The first thing that you have to do is to explain just what you said. It's mm. not only good for me, it's good for us. Because we are trying to reform the society for the better. Mm. Now get it right. An agent of peace, wherever she or he is, should be ready for war. <laughs> That's mm. the reality of jihad is not a call for war. It's a call for peace. We are agent of peace. What we want is justice, peace. Inner peace, social peace, political peace, international mm. peace. But... To do this, you have to resist the oppressors, the people who are ready to kill, the people who are ready to colonize. And, and, so you and have those to be who uh, may prevent the message from reaching their people. Because uh, if we, again, go back to the universality of Islam, we need to give the privilege of the da'wah to everyone. There will be forces on earth who prevent the ummah from being able to spread the da'wah. Mm. So there has to be an element of... Mm call it uh, active jihad, um, aggressive jihad, not to impose the ideology on the citizens, but to remove the forces who stop the citizens from being able to hear the words of Allah. And this, I mean, uh, um, I I feel that this uh, uh, privilege is given to all of the systems apart from Islam. So they want, uh, others will want to spread democracy by force in certain regions of the world, and others will want to spread other communist ideologies, but it stops at the doors of Islam, you must only resist. Yeah, I, I agree, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word that you used. <laughs> by saying, no, 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 be, the but English, that's essential. Yeah. The English language is a bit poor. No, 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 but that, yeah. that's essential. You know, part of the equation, it's the word that you are using. Mm. And remember, when you study the Quran, you know how words matter. That you know, that the verse is put in that way, and that this word is coming mm. after that one means something that you need to get. Okay, you have to to deal with it. When you read from the Quran that the way words are put matters, you have to check your mouth and you have to check mm. the way you you speak. So this is why, if for example you say an aggressive jihad, and I say you know what, I would say a wise jihad. Why is why? Because you are true. All the means of information now, we know where they are and who is now controlling this. These people with money and everything. Now, we may not have the money, but we have the numbers. Mm -hmm. We may not have the money, but we have the skills. Look at what we are doing now. What we are doing now is to find another channel to let the people hear what we have to Mm -hmm. say. 